Hey there, Cowgirl with Laser Fans. Um, this is Crystal here. Back to um, try another sign, kind of a, another uh, hair dryer blowout experiment. Not totally experiment. I mean, I've kind of just randomly put colors and do it, which I'm going to kind of do that now. Um, but I think I might try more circles around and dots, see what I kind of come up with. Um, this is actually going to be a farmhouse sign when I get done with it. Um, over on my computer, I have, um, it's gonna be the word worthy. And for the T, um, it's gonna be a cross that'll be on it. And then it will be, um, framed off with these um, once it gets done. So I'll stain these depending on kind of what color stands out um, and finish it up then with attaching and gluing the um, word worthy across it. Um, so once this is completely done, it will be out there on my um, cowgirl with a laser group um, business page and on my website at equinetechandmore.com um, but it will be a couple weeks for it to fully dry um, and for me to be able to put it all together and get it out there so I guess I will get going and randomly put my colors down um, I have a mixture of Amsterdam um, that I mixed with Floatron water, um, Artist Loft already mixed pouring paints, and Master's Touch um, already mixed pouring paints that I got from um, Michaels, and then I have a um, Deco Art 24 karat gold. Um, I have metallic silver. I have primary cayenne, uh, a bright blue, a violet from Artist Loft. Um, this one is amethyst. And I'll be doing turquoise and then a permanent blue violet from Amsterdam. This is only a little bit left in this one. This is Lilac Petals. Um, Brilliant Blue. And Ultramarine. So we will see how all these do together. I already painted my board um, white. I just used regular uh, acrylic paint and just painted on with a sponge brush. Um, when I flipped it over to um, protect my backside, so it doesn't get paint all over it with my masking tape. Um, some of my stuff from my Lily Buffy silicone mat ended up sticking on it, but that's okay because it will get covered up with these paints. I also do have my um, Master's Touch um, white. Not sure if I'm gonna use it um, that I mixed with Floetrol in water. I might dab it on here a little bit or try and fill in some spaces but we will see how it goes so here's to trying another experiment and hopefully it turns out like I was hoping so we'll just sort of randomly put down some colors don't really uh, have any sort of specific way I was going to put these down. I just hope I don't double up on some of these uh, <laughs> that I don't remember what I put where.
This is a, oh, what is it? Like 19 by eight inch piece of board. So I'm going to need quite a bit of paint, especially doing a blowout to make sure that I have enough. I was kind of hoping for maybe some spring kind of looking um, random blowout. So I'm hoping that it turns out how I did the little experiment on a piece of paper. I tried with putting the colors all together. I don't want too much gold because it can take over a little bit. And when you don't remember, sometimes <laughs> which colors you put down. And then I think I will fill in some white, whoops, around the edge here, and maybe a few dollops of it here and there, but not enough because sometimes my white can take over. I think I got my mixture a little wrong on this one, so it does tend to take over some. So, well, I'm going to blow this out. It'll get a little noisy. Um, and we'll see how it comes out and if I need to add some more paint somewhere or um, tilt it, we'll, let's find out. So, let's go for it. I'm going to put this on high, well, Maybe I'll start out with low, see how that does. So I'll low and then chill and then see if I need to do, which I probably will have to go up a little higher, but we'll see. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I think I want to try and throw it this way. And then
really like this. I think it turned out a little better than what I was expecting. Um, I think I want to maybe blow this gold a little more. Um, my thing will be along here, so some of this will get covered up, and that will too. But, wow, these colors turned out to be really cool together. I want to blow that out a little bit there. Start letting it get clumped. Take my torch and see if we can't get some more air bubbles out. See if any cells. I don't really have enough white to get cells, but I do have some really cool lacing, lacing in here. bit more. This will get covered up with my trim and so will that. But oh my gosh, this color combination is awesome. This is very beautiful. You can see the gold and some of the silver starting to pop up. The gold is making it really shimmery. I might add just a touch of it maybe down here since it does have some up there. I think that looks a little better having that mixed in with it. Guys, this looks so beautiful. I can't wait to bring it in. I can't wait to finish this sign because I think it's going to be awesome. It is, it is definitely going to look beautiful hanging on somebody's wall. Let me um, take you off here. Yes. Look at this. Look at the shimmery from the gold. All the different blues and purples. Oh my gosh, guys. This It is so hard to see how beautiful it is. Sometimes looking on a video but this is going to be one stunning piece when I get through with it look at that that is so pretty all these colors just did so well and that cells right there that brings out some of the darker blues and purples oh, this is so beautiful and the shimmery gold there. Oh, I can't wait till this gets finished. So please, if you're interested in this, um, it will be ready and for sale here in probably a few weeks. I will um, well, come over here and it will have that across the middle of it. Um, when it is done. So if you're interested, just um, go to my website at equine-tackandmore.com and you can send me a message. Thanks.